Hi, I'm Stuck, and this is Bounty Thursday. And this episode is sponsored by Integrity. So, this week is more or less all about Community Stream Week, right? So, Hacker One is doing the 2004. Every day there's gonna be stream going on with Nahamsek over at twitch.tv slash Nahamsek. And today it's Hack Couch Day. And so I'm gonna be on the stream together with Nahamsek. It starts at 9 PST. And we're gonna get some, hopefully gonna get some guests coming on and talk about bounties and hacking and all that fun jazz that we love to do. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our prior uh, Hack Couch thingies, um, I'm going to post them here on my channel for you to endorse those at a later state. So virtual conferences seems to be a really cool thing going on right now. And this week, uh, Sam Curry or ZLC was presenting on KernelCon. Really cool talk that was related to APIs, reverse proxies and middleware. I think it was called um, attacking secondary context of, um, web, of web applications. But the really cool thing is the slides. And if you haven't checked out the slides, they're very, very informative on how you can identify application routing and implement past traversal to just do cool stuff. And when we are talking about path traversals, a really cool write-up that you definitely should check out is from this February where Space Raccoon dropped the XML and SIP path traversal uh, write-up. Um, it's a really, really cool write-up where he found an XXE of course I'm going to talk about XXEs. He found an XXE and was able to put this application inside a zip file that was malicious so it unzipped the payload in a specific directory and from there he was able to run a web shell. It was super 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 cool. So definitely do check out that one. Um, this Sunday, uh, Nahamsek had uh, Bug Crowd Zone Codigo on his Sunday stream talking about recon. And what was really cool there is that he dropped his latest tool called Crit Hit. And it's a tool that's inspired by both Tom Nom Nom and uh, Ed Overflow's Meg builds, where you're able to take a word list. Let's say you had a content discovery word list and you want to send it out to um, a lot of hosts at the same time. To be able to do this at scale, what's, what it's doing is that it's taking, let's say, the first line in the word list and then send it to one host and the next host and the next host and the next host and then it starts over with another one and just distribute it all over in that way you're able to um, do a very very big monitoring or scanning session um, by but you're bypassing the WAF and the rate limiting because you're not sending the same request in to the same server over and over again and be careful with this though because it's super 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 fast and if you're running on the same uh, subdomain and um, and just blasting it away you're gonna get yourself banned really 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 fast and also on Saturday it's Versicon and if you haven't signed up for that already over 1300 people has already done it then you should definitely do that there's been some minor changes in the schedule so Jason Haddock's talks is not gonna be presented at this time it's gonna be moved on and be presented together with Naham Seg at a later stage but what is really really cool is that all these companies that surround our community really are stepping up and chipping in to support the cause there's been sponsorships by Hacker One, AWS, Synac, eLearn Security, Bug Crowd, Detectify, Pentesis Lab and Integrity and that just warms my heart to see that uh, everybody's in the community is getting together and working towards a really really important cause while trying to keep that level of engagement and learning on top also yeah hacking one has dark mode now <laughs> And speaking of Hacker One, Jobert, uh, one of the founders, uh, probably got bored last week and, and spent a couple of hours um, writing um, simple scripts for you to try at home and build upon so you can practice your vulnerabilities. Um, he got some requests in over Twitter. Let's say he wanted to see, somebody wanted some, uh, let's say, blind SQL or they wanted some kind of XXS payload and stuff. And he wrote the vulnerability code for people to download and run it. It's over at his uh, GitLab. Uh, 
um, repository, so definitely worth checking out. Another thing that is really cool is that uh, Adam Langley over at the CTF Challenge has created a couple of really, really amazing almost bounty realistic challenges for you to try out and play around with. Um, so head over to ctfchallenge.co.uk to dig into that. Until next week, take care. I love you.